Hey there guys, Burbank51 here with another free indie game. Uh, this week's game is a game called Gang Garrison 2, and um, not to be confused with Team Fortress 2, another um, another in the 2 series of games. Um, Gang Garrison 2 is a completely different uh, series. Um, there is no Gang Garrison 1, um, which is on purpose, is intentional. I mean, Gang Garrison is just cool like that. It doesn't need a prequel to have a sequel. Um, but yeah, a lot of people tend to confuse Gang Garrison 2 and Gang Gar uh, Team Fortress 2. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you know, Team F Gang Garrison 2 is just a, it's just a, a bootleg of uh, Team Fortress 2. It's just a copy. It's not true. Completely different. I mean, they have nine classes. I, I can see it's not even true. Gang Garrison has ten classes. It's in that way it's superior to Team Fortress 2. But I can see where people's coming, people are coming from. It's a team based they're both team based shooting games with classes and whatnot but you know completely different i mean like in team fortress 2 you got the scout the soldier the pyro the um demo man the heavy uh sniper spy on and on gang garrison 2 is completely different you got the runner the rocket man the firebug the grenadier the overweight the shooter i mean it's it's completely different um i mean people people just gotta gotta understand that but anyway uh getting into the game <sighs> okay all right you got me guys it it is actually based on team fortress 2 gang garrison 2 is a d make of team fortress 2 made for the bootleg d mates competition at tig source i think it was the winner of the competition that year and it's a darn good one because it's a really, really fun game. A full multiplayer. Um, it's Team Fortress 2 redone as a uh, sort of an 8-bit game. And I don't think it's quite 8-bit, but it's pretty close. Uh, the graphics are obviously not as good as Team Fortress 2. But surprisingly, the gameplay is excellent. It's an amazing game. It's really fun. I used to play this game almost every day. I was an addict at this game. I had to delete it off my computer because I was playing it too much. Um... But it's a really fun game, and I think it actually has some advantages over Team Fortress 2. The reason why I pl started playing this is because I didn't have enough... I, I didn't have a good enough computer to actually play the real Team Fortress 2. So for me, this was a decent alternative. And eventually, when I did get a good enough computer to play Team Fortress 2, I was really disappointed because uh, it was missing a lot of what made this game great and unique. Now, if you look at all the classes, they're actually simple simplifications of the classes in Team Fortress 2 and I think they're actually more specialized than the classes in Team Fortress 2 also. Um, when I played TF2 one of the things that I felt was uh, lacking from it is uh, that specialization. It really felt like a lot of the classes were closer to the same. A lot of them had some of the same weapons um, they uh, behaved in the same way. It was just shooting at the enemies where in this game it's um, all the classes are significantly different. They only have, each of them only has one weapon, and that's the one weapon that they use, um, and a special ability, which is the special ability that they use. For example, you got the runner, he has a shotgun, and he runs fast and he could double jump. That uh, makes sense. Um, you got the rocket man, he has a rocket launcher, and he doesn't need anything else. Um, is here to the demo man, he has the, uh, sticky bombs, which you know in Team Fortress 2 is all anybody used to use anyway because it was the best weapon in the game but in this case it's his only weapon and uh, you use it like that and you, and you don't have like a delay, delay on when you could detonate it's great it's wonderful uh, the spy the, I love the spy the way they did the spy in Gang Garrison 2 he has unlimited invisibility he could go he could be invisible from one side of the map to the other no problem um but he can't disguise like he can in Team Fortress 2 um if he's behind any of the players he's invisible invisible to them uh, he could backstab from an invisibility but he becomes visible for a small moment but he can't move while he backstabs which is part of the challenge because he kind of has to predict where the enemies are going to be when he's going to when the backstab goes through because he's immobile for a second or two while he's doing it really challenging also but like a lot of people forget about his revolver which is also a very powerful weapon. Blah, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, and then, of course, you got the Medic, which is really powerful, and he could do the Uber Charge. And you got the Overweight, who's, like, the Heavy, who um, 
is just uh just a monster. He, like he comes through, he can kill everything. It's great. The anyway, guys, <laughs> the point I'm getting to is that there's a really great game. It's free. It has a really strong, thriving community. Um, yeah, I think they're still getting updates. Um, adding stuff to the game is really cool. Uh, custom maps. You know, you can make a custom map. You just draw the map and then you set where the boundaries are. And you, you know, there's lots of really cool custom maps that have already been made. Um, some people even tried making their own gameplays, um, or our own forms of gameplay. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's the free indie for the week. Um, download links will be in the description. Go download it, play it, tell me what you think of it. Post your own videos if you want to, and uh, post them in the comments too. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week.